Ireland West Airport Knock is something of a success story. Ryanair have recently launched some new routes. We attended an event at the Galway Bay Hotel in Salt Hill to find out exactly where they're to. Delighted to be here today in the Galway Bay Hotel to uh, celebrate the launch of Ryanair's biggest ever summer and winter schedule from Ireland West Airport Knock. This year Ryanair will fly to 16 international destinations and meet an estimated 580,000 passengers, which will be their busiest year on record for the airport. Uh, it's very important, I think, as well, for the Galway region, which is a, an extremely important market for the airport, and indeed Ryanair. This year, we will bring roughly about 75,000 passengers will come from the Galway region to the airport, and in addition, an additional 100,000 visitors from overseas who pass to the airport will actually go through and visit Galway as well. So Galway is an extremely important market for us, and indeed for Ryanair, so we're delighted to welcome them down here. It's a beautiful evening, indeed, in Galway, to celebrate this uh, marquee event uh, in the Galway region. And delighted to see such a very, very big turnout here for the event as well. We've had a tremendous response this summer. We've started three new routes, one to Eindhoven, to Cairns, and also to Glasgow Prestwick in a couple of weeks' time. But overall, we're going to have the biggest ever year at Mark Airport. Over 580,000 passengers we expect this year, and with the new routes that will create a significant amount of new inbound tourism to the region. Uh, we feel it's essential now at this stage that, that the people at Mock Airport have a tremendous job to develop the airport and to generate the traffic. But the whole community in the whole west of Ireland really has to get in behind the airport and support the new services. I think it offers a huge opportunity for the tourism industry in the west to get new markets from the Netherlands, from right into Germany, into Belgium, and all across the UK. The, the low-cost services are there now. They're going to be there all summer, and they're going to be right into this autumn. And people need to redouble their efforts to ensure that they get the most out of it. Ryanair's newest route from the airport to the UK market will indeed be Glasgow Prestwick, which starts on the 1st of June and will operate three times weekly on Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays. In addition, we're delighted that this year they've launched two new services to Eindhoven in Holland on Tuesdays and Saturdays and also a brand new service to Cowles in Lithuania, which operates every Thursday. These complement, of course, the very popular destinations in the likes of Faroe Agard in Portugal, Alicante, Barcelona, Tenerife, Lanzarote, uh, in Spain, as well as Malaga service, which they started last year. And of course, they have the very popular Milan service, which operates twice weekly uh, from June to September. So, all in all, it's a, it's a massive year for the airport. We're, we're forecasting to reach 700,000 passengers for the first time this year, 508,000 in the middle of the air. We're proud to be associated with them here. They have a huge passion and a huge vision about the development of the airport. Right back to Monsignor Horn, you know, who, who really uh, put the whole region on the map. If that airport wasn't there, I think we would see uh, significantly more unemployment in the region, and it probably would have uh, lacked great investment in tourism products. You have to have low-cost access into the region, particularly somewhere as isolated as we are over on the western seaboard of Europe. And if the airport wasn't there, well, I don't think it would happen. So we're proud to see what they've done. They have some of the best uh, tactical uh, facilities than any airport in uh, regional Europe. There's only two airports in the whole of Poland that have the same navigation systems that they have at Mark Airport. And they should be proud of that, what they've done over the years. In terms of the airport itself, the infrastructure has had significant expansion in the last, particularly the last four or five years. Back in 2007, a 27 million expansion program was announced. We've seen the building of a new terminal at the airport. We've significantly enhanced the car park facilities. There's been expansion of our departures area, a brand new news agency and an expanded retail area, new catering outlets, um, and improvements made to the runway and to the turning in circles which have been extended. The biggest project we have we'll see coming up in the next couple of years is an expansion of our apron, which is where the aircraft will park. We're hoping to go from three stands to nine stands over the next number of years, which will greatly aid uh, the expansion plans that the airport has to emerge into markets, uh, other markets in Europe and the US. And as well as that, it's one of the biggest developments in the last uh, few years has been a new Category 2 lighting system, which I suppose people would have been familiar with in the last, back in the, the late 90s, early 2000s, that we would have had an issue with uh, low visibility in, in bad conditions. That has all thankfully been pretty much eradicated in the last four or five years following the introduction of a new lighting system which partially has um, omitted diversions from the airport. So that's been very, very positive. We're expanding all the time, the facility is improving all the time, and as far as this testament to the support we get from the region, that we're in a position to do so. At Ireland West Airport Knock, the innovation doesn't stop at the physical resources. They've also revolutionised their website.
we'd have to work really, really hard to fill the 16 routes that we have at Anoch this summer, and we are doing that. And we need the support of everybody to do that. I think over the next few years, Anoch's been quite clever in the way they develop their business. They're not just totally reliant on Ryanair, they have a wide spectrum of different carriers. But I think there's nothing to stop Mac Airport looking towards carrying a million passengers um, uh, over the next few years, and then moving on to possibly even two million over the next uh, five years. It's there right across Europe. You know, the low-cost access is there from Ryanair, and I believe it'll be there from other carriers. But the tourism product providers in the region, they're going to have to roll in behind the airport, and they're going to have to see the gold nugget that they have sitting there up in uh, Knock near Charlestown. It's there for them. They're going to have to take the opportunity and support it.